Can you get ungated with an invoice from Target? Can you get ungated with an invoice from Walgreens? Can you get ungated with an invoice from Walmart? I made a lot of videos on ungating and I still receive a lot of questions just like this one on ungating. So I'm gonna make this video to answer this question once and for all so I can send this video whenever someone asks this question. So if you receive this video, if you brought on the Discord server or whatever, just know I'm gonna try to answer this question, these questions I should say, with, with love, with comprehension. But before I actually do, right now I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching if you are a beginner seller or if you are a little bit more advanced and you need help, you need me to hold your hand to help you scale your Amazon business, link in the description, schedule a call with me. Also, if you want to hang out with other sellers, if you want to hang out with me on the Discord server, Yes, we have a Discord server, link in the description as well. Uh, best place to meet other sellers and network because this is what's going to get you ahead. So, regarding getting ungated with invoices, with receipts, you should say, from Target, from Walmart, from Walgreens, from all those places. Can you get ungated with those? No, you cannot get ungated with an invoice from Target because they do not give proper invoices, all right? But... But, let me finish the sentence. You cannot get ungated with the receipts from Target, Walgreens, Walmart, all those places until you reach a certain point in sales on Amazon and they stop checking the documents you submit for ungating because at one point they are going to stop checking, all right? You're going to get approved, you're going to submit the documents and you're going to get approved in like 30 seconds. 30, 45 seconds, you submit the stuff, you receive an email telling you that you've been approved. People have been approved submitting blank pages, submitting like just random pictures, all right? Um, and I don't think that you should do this and I'm going to tell you why today, all right? Yes, you can get ungated by submitting like blank pages, picture of your feet, your ugly ass feet, if you want to. But you should not do this. You should always at least have a receipt showing like where you bought the product because you are going to get ungated. But if you have any issue in the future, all right, this is pure speculation. All right. I don't know if they are doing this because we do not really know what Amazon is doing. But there's a 99.9% .9 chance that... Amazon is keeping those things that you submit for ungating in their database, all right? Which means that if one day in the future, God forbid, you get suspended or you get some issues with your account and that someone from Seller Performance needs to review your account to reinstate you, all right? Let's say you have an issue with a brand that you use this strategy to, to, to ungate. So submitting a picture of your pets, submitting a blank page. And a blank page <coughs> is probably not going to um, hold you back that much. But let's say you, you, you have an issue with Nike. Um, you know, either you, 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 you receive an inauthentic complaint, you get suspended because of that, and you need to appeal the decision. When the guy from Solo Performance is going to review your account, all right, and see that you submitted a picture of your feet for approval for Nike, and, that, and then, then in the future, all right, you got uh, an inauthentic complaint for Nike, it's going to be super hard for you when you write your plan of action to like explain, like explain, make them believe you when you say that you have a reliable supply chain because if that's the issue if that's the issue if it's the reason that you got suspended you are going to need to prove them that you have a reliable supply chain if you do stuff like that and if they see that first of all probably they're going to think that you're not serious <coughs> if they actually once again if they actually go back and check the database and check what documents you've submitted to establish a history of you as a seller they're going to see that they're going to see that you're not serious they're going to doubt that you have um, they're going to doubt that you have a reliable supply chain and uh, it's going to be way harder because it's already hard to come back from a suspension depending on the suspension, right? But it's already hard to, to come back from a suspension. Um, with that, it's going to make it 10 times harder because like every time they're going to go back to your account, they're going to check, they're just going to, you know, like you know Amazon is, all right? They're, going, they're not even going to check, they saw that you did that in the past and it's going to be super hard for you to come back from that, all right? I don't even know you can explain that potentially in your, in your plan of action. What are you going to say? 
that, oh, no, I did not have a, 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 a good supply chain in the past, so I wanted to sell Nike anyway. And so I submitted this before I actually did it because I knew that it's not going to make sense. You're going to piss them off. You're not going to get your account back. It's going to be super hard for you to get your account back. So do things the right way. At least, even if you do not have an invoice meeting Amazon um, stuff, because, of course, at the beginning, as I said, at the beginning, it's, it's already going to be hard enough for you to get approved with a 100% with a legit invoice. It's already going to be hard enough, all right? So you're not going to get approved with something from, um, from course. It's going, to be, it's going to be even harder than with a real invoice, especially if you never get it anything yet. It's going to be nearly impossible to get and get it with course, to get and get it with Nike.com, to get and get it with Target, to get and get it with all that stuff. You're going to get a lot of rejection. Just get an invoice. Just spend $100 somewhere where you can get an invoice. I have a whole playlist for everything that you want to do. Uh, you can even do Amazon to Amazon. You do not even have to watch my videos. Just do Amazon to Amazon, get and get it. And um, yeah, just do this. Get a real invoice, submit it. Amazon to Amazon works. All the websites that I talk about in my videos work. All right. So just use those. Why you want to go with course? Why you want to go with Nike.com? Why you want to go with whatever? You can get an invoice somewhere. Get your invoice, get and get it. Nike, Adidas, Puma, every sports brand, use soccer.com or Amazon to Amazon. Groceries, use uh, wholesale, wholesale at frontiercorp.com. What else? Uh, I forgot. OTC, same thing. Wholesale at frontiercorp.com. Just watch the videos. That's it. That's it. That's as simple as that. No, you cannot get ungated with Target. All right. You can later on, like when, when you get approved automatically, it's fine if you submit like receipt from Target. Otherwise, do not do it. You're going to get like, it's going to be a waste of time. Just get and get it in the brands that you want to sell. And a lot of brands are going to open up by, by themselves anyway. So it's been a long time that I haven't had to engage something. I don't remember when was the, the, the last time, but like a lot of things that I, I, I'm actually selling are brands that are gated at first that I got ungated automatically that I do not even have to submit documents. The more you sell, the more it's easy, the more things you can sell. All right. So that's today's video. If you want to keep watching, if you want to keep learning about selling on Amazon, watch these other videos, watch the other playlist on ungating, subscribe, like this video, do all that stuff. Uh, if you need coaching, you know where to go. If you want to join the Discord server, you know where to go. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.